Now we want to create a pane of glass in the window frame, but we want to get a little more detail into it. You can continue working from where we left off, or open the file Chapter 3, Windows 03.max. In order to create the pane of glass, we're going to use a tool called the Bevel Tool. In the Graphite Modeling Tools, make sure you're in the Polygon Subobject level. If you don't have access to the Graphite Modeling Tools, Make sure the Modify panel in the Command panel is currently active and your model is selected. In the Graphite Modeling Tools, Polygons panel, click on the down arrow next to the Bevel tool and select the Bevel Settings from the drop-down list. By default, it sets the height to extrude out 10 inches and the outline amount to inset negative 1 inch. This is not what we want. We want to pull back the height and make it a 45 degree edge. Set the height to negative 1 inch. With a height of negative 1 inch, that will pull it back in, very similar to the extrude tool. We'll leave the outline set to minus 1 inch. And this will create a 45 degree bevel. This command is a combination of the extrude tool and the inset tool operated together. Click the check mark to accept the changes. This polygon now becomes the window pane. We want to change the material ID for this polygon to 4. Again, we do this by clicking in the Graphite Modeling Tools on the down arrow in the Properties panel and selecting the Material IDs tool. In the Set ID, increment the value until the Material ID is 4. Click the Spinner until the value is set to 4. Keep the Material ID dialog open. Now, to add a little bit more detail to our window frame, that's the 8-inch frame around the window. We want to select those polygons that make up that 8-inch window frame. Here's where using the option of Select IDs comes in very handy. We've already assigned material ID number 2 as we created the geometry for the window frame. Let's go to the Select ID, change the Select ID value to number 2, then click the Select ID button. That selects any polygons in your object with the material ID of 2 assigned to them. Currently, the only ones we have are the 8-inch window frame polygons. We're going to use the extrude settings to bring these polygons away from the building a little. In the Graphite Modeling Tools Polygon panel, click the Extrude Settings option. Under the Extrude drop-down, set the extrude height to positive 2 inches and press Enter to make sure that it accepts the value. It should look like I have on screen. Click the check mark to accept the change. We'll add a little bit more detail in the Graphite Modeling Tools Polygon panel. Click the Bevel Settings under the Bevel drop-down list. And we're going to come out positive 1 inch. Just delete the negative sign in front of the height and keep the outline amount to negative 1 inch that gives us a 45 degree bevel around the outer and inner edges of the window frame. This adds a little bit of extra detail that will help the window frame catch the light when we light our scene. In many cases, adding these simple elements can dramatically increase the visual quality of your rendered scene. Again, positive 1 inch height, negative 1 inch outline, Click the check mark to accept the changes and dismiss the caddy. Click the polygon option in the graphite modeling tool to exit the subobject mode. Don't forget to also exit isolation mode if you've continued from the previous lesson. Press Ctrl S to save your file, or you may increment your file if you choose to. We've built a very efficient window into this polygon model by working one polygon at a time. It's also possible to create multiple windows in the same way very easily using the graphite modeling tools.